Hello and welcome viewers, you're watching In Depth with your host Kriti Mishra. The Union Cabinet has approved the Mission to Moon, named Chandrayaan-4, to develop and demonstrate the technologies to come back to Earth after successfully landing on the Moon and also collect Moon samples and analyze them on Earth. This Chandrayaan-4 mission will achieve the foundational technology's capabilities eventually for an Indian landing on the Moon, planned by year 2040 and return safely back to Earth. The Government of India has outlined an expanded vision for the Indian Space Programme during the Amrit Kal that envisages an Indian Space Station by 2035 and Indian landing on the Moon by 2040. To realise this vision, a series of Gaganyaan and Chandrayaan follow-on missions are envisaged, including the development of associated space transportation and infrastructure capabilities. The successful demonstration of safe and soft landing of Chandrayaan-3 lander on the lunar surface has established vital technologies and demonstrated capabilities that only few other nations possess. A natural successor to the successful landing mission is the demonstration of the ability to collect lunar samples and return them safely back to Earth. ISRO will be responsible for the development of spacecraft and launch. The project will be effectively managed and monitored through the established practices prevailing at ISRO. The mission is expected to be completed within 36 months of approval with the participation of industry and academia. All the critical technologies are envisaged to be indigenously developed. The realization of the mission is through various industries and it is envisaged that there would be high employment potential and technology spin-off to other sectors of the economy. The total fund requirement for the technology demonstration mission Chandrayaan-4 is 2,104.06 crore. The cost includes spacecraft development and realization, two launch vehicle missions of LVM-3, external deep space network support and conducting special tests for design validation finally leading to the mission of landing on Moon's surface and safe return to Earth along with collected lunar sample. The mission would enable India to be self-sufficient in critical foundation technologies for manned missions, lunar sample return and scientific analysis of lunar samples. Towards realization, there would be a significant involvement of Indian industry. Plan for associating the Indian academia through Chandrayaan-4 science meets, workshops is already in place. This mission will also ensure the establishment of facilities for curation and analysis of return samples which will be national assets. The most important thing for the country is that the most important thing is that Chandrayaan 4 mission has expanded and has expanded and has added new elements and new elements and new elements जो क्रूड मिशन जाएगा आपको ध्यान है कि चंद्रयान तीन बहुत ही एक सफल मिशन था चंद्रयान थ्री वाज अ वेरी बिग सक्सेस एंड बेसिस दैट नाउ द नेक्स्ट स्टेप इस टू गेट द मैन्ड मिशन टू मून उसके लिए जो प्रिपरेटरी स्टेप्स होते हैं उन सारे प्रिपरेटरी स्टेप्स को आज अप्रूवल दिया गया और दो um, lunar surface pe land karna, uske samples lena aur wapis leke aane ka ye sara is mission mein dhyan rakha jayega aur ye ek bahut hi badi aitihasik cheez hai kyunki mission land karwana apne aap mein ek bahut badi uplabdhi thi ab mission land karne ke baad mein chandrayaan ko return karna that itself will be a very big thing the Union Cabinet has also approved the development of Venus Orbiter Mission. That will be a significant step towards the government's vision of exploring and studying the Venus beyond Moon and Mars. Venus, the closest planet to Earth and believed to have formed in conditions similar to Earth, offers a unique opportunity to understand how planetary environments can evolve very differently. 
The Venus Orbiter mission to be accomplished by Department of Space is envisaged to orbit a scientific spacecraft in the orbit of planet Venus for better understanding of Venusian surface and subsurface atmospheric processes and influence of Sun on Venusian atmosphere. The study of the underlying causes of transformation of Venus, which is believed to be once habitable and quite similar to Earth, would be an invaluable aid in understanding the evolution of the sister planets, both Venus and Earth. ISRO will be responsible for the development of spacecraft and its launch. The project will be effectively managed and monitored through the established practices prevailing at ISRO. The data generated from the mission would be disseminated to the scientific community through existing mechanisms. The mission is expected to be accomplished on the opportunity available during March 2028. The Indian Venus mission is expected to answer some of the outstanding scientific questions resulting in various scientific outcomes. The realization of the spacecraft and launch vehicle is through various industries and it is envisaged that there would be large employment potential and technology spin-off to other sectors of the economy. The total fund approved for the Venus Orbiter mission is 1,236 crore, out of which 824 crore will be spent on the spacecraft. The cost includes development and realization of the spacecraft, including its scientific payloads and technology elements, global ground station support cost for navigation and network as well as the cost of launch vehicle. The Venus would also enable India for future planetary missions with larger payloads, optimal orbit insertion approaches. There would be a significant involvement of Indian industry during the development of the spacecraft and launch vehicle. The involvement of various academic institutions and training to students in pre-launch phase that includes design, development, testing, test data reduction and calibration is also envisaged. The mission through its unique instruments offers the Indian scientific community new and valuable science data and thereby providing emerging and novel opportunities. Venus uh, planet ke charo taraf orbit karna aur jo Venus ka atmosphere hai usme probe. Um, aap jante hai ki Venus is the next, second next planet uh, from Sun aur ye Earth ka twin kehlata hai. Earth ka twin kehlata hai. और वहाँ की बहुत सारे कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स हैं जिसको स्टडी करने से कई साइंस एंड टेक्नोलॉजी की फंडामेंटल रिसर्च में इसका बेनिफिट होता है। The cabinet has also approved the building of first unit of Bharti Antariksh Station by extending the scope of Gaganyaan program. Approval by the cabinet is given for development of first module of Bharti Antariksh Station and undertake missions to demonstrate and validate various technologies for building and operating Bharti Antariksh Station. Now the Human Space Flight Program of Technology Development and Demonstration is through eight missions to be completed by December 2028 by launching first unit of Bharti Antariksh Station. The Gaganyaan Program approved in December 2018 envisages undertaking the human space flight to low Earth orbit and to lay the foundation of technologies needed for an Indian human space exploration program in the long run. The vision for space in Amritkal and Visages, including other things, creation of an operational Bharti Antariksh station by 2035 and an Indian crewed lunar mission by 2040. All leading spacefaring nations are making considerable efforts and investments to develop and operationalize capabilities that are required for long duration human space missions and further exploration to moon and beyond. Gaganyaan program will be a national effort led by ISRO in collaboration with industry, academia and other national agencies as stakeholders. The program will be implemented through the established project management mechanism within ISRO. The target is to develop and demonstrate critical technologies for long duration human space missions. To achieve this goal, ISRO will undertake four missions under ongoing Gaganyaan program by 2026 and development of first module of Bharti Antariksh station and four missions for demonstration and validation of various technologies by Bharti Antariksh station by December 2028. 
The nation will acquire essential technological capabilities for human space missions to low Earth orbit. A national space-based facility such as the Bharti Antariksh Station will boost microgravity-based scientific research and technology development activities. This will lead to technological spin-offs and encourage innovations in key areas of research and development. Enhanced industrial participation and economic activity in human space program will result in increased employment generation, especially in niche high technology areas in space and allied sectors. With a net additional funding of 11,170 crore in the already approved program, the total funding for Gaganyan program with a revised scope has been enhanced to 20,193 crore. This program will provide a unique opportunity, especially for the youth of the country, to take up careers in the field of science and technology, as well as pursue opportunities in microgravity-based scientific research and technology development activities. The resulting innovations and technological spin-offs will be benefiting the society at large. Third approved kiya gaya Gagan Yan, follow-on and development of our first Antriksh station, space station. Ye program, jo pehle program approved hua tha, usko kafi uh, multiply karke, kafi bada karke kiya gaya hai. अब इसकी कॉस्ट 20,000 रुपी 20,000 करोड़ की है और सारे के सारे जो मॉड्यूल्स इसके लिए डेवलप करने वो सारे इसके अंदर इंक्लूड हुए और चौथा मिशन अप्रूव हुआ है नेक्स्ट जनरेशन लॉन्च व्हीकल अभी जो लॉन्च व्हीकल है वो 10 टन के लोड को पेलोड को लेके जाता है उसको 30 टन करने के लिए और उसमें नई टेक्नोलॉजीज जो आई हैं उन सब को लगाने के लिए ये मिशन अप्रूव हुआ है सब मिशन टाइम बाउंड है और इन सब पे बहुत अच्छी प्रोग्रेस है और भारत के हमारे स्पेस के साइंटिस्ट्स और भारत के जो वैज्ञानिक हैं इनकी जो बड़ी उपलब्धि है प्रधानमंत्री श्री नरेंद्र मोदी जी के नेतृत्व का जो दूरदर्शी विजन है उसका बहुत बड़ा हिस्सा है ये स्पेस के प्रोग्रेस इंडिया टारगेट्स अ फाइव फोल्ड इंक्रीज इन इट्स शेयर ऑफ द ग्लोबल स्पेस इकोनॉमी इंडिया स्पेस इकोनॉमी टुडे स्टैंड्स एट 8 बिलियन डॉलर्स but our own projection is that by 2040, it will multiply many fold. The government has given a big boost to research and innovation in all fields since the beginning and the results are evident now. The Narendra Modi government has given a big boost to research and innovation in all fields since the beginning and the results are evident now. The policies of the Modi government have given a huge impetus to space research which was previously subjected to gross negligence. The government has increased the allocation of funds to space research. Participation of private partners has also been encouraged. The Anusandhan National Research Foundation Act was rolled out with a budget of 50,000 crore for five years. Space technology has been utilized in various fields of communications, agriculture, irrigation, climate change, weather prediction, navigation, fisheries, health, education, border security, internal security, forestry, mining, etc., helping citizens from all walks of life. Farmers and fishermen are able to get accurate predictions of the weather. Army and police can monitor and track the activities and even cross-border infiltrations accurately. India now has the capability to destroy satellite-based communication mechanisms in space and intercept intercontinental ballistic missiles. The government has been successful in bringing social, economic and developmental transformations utilizing space technology and research. By the next decade, India's space economy is expected to grow by five times. The youth of the nation have huge opportunities to further explore the unexplored domains of research and space. Well, viewers, that's all we have for you in this edition. Thanks for watching and stay tuned to Sunset TV. Goodbye for now from my side. To watch more programs of Sunset TV, subscribe to our YouTube channel. And don't forget 
to like and share them